Hi everyone. Thank you for joining Parkinson Voice Project for today's online Speak Out Home practice session. Are you ready to speak and swallow with intent? I hope so. My name is Samantha Allendary. I'm a speech language pathologist and the founder of Parkinson Voice Project. I'm here to help you establish and maintain a consistent speak out home practice routine. Daily vocal exercise is essential for managing Parkinson's, just like physical exercise. Let's go ahead and take a sip of water. As you grab your cup or glass, I want you to use intent. That means be purposeful, focus, concentrate, be deliberate. I know it's odd that you have to think about picking up that glass, but normally that is an automatic behavior. We normally don't have to think about it. Think about when you used to go out to dinner with friends and you might pick up your water glass or pick up your glass of wine while you're having a conversation, set it down and cut your steak. All of those things were automatic, but automatic movements require dopamine. And by the time anyone has any symptoms of Parkinson's, they've already lost about 80% of their dopamine producing cells. So we've got to make everything intentional. And by the way, today, today after this session at 1045 Central Time, we are hosting our Learn About Parkinson's webinar. If you have not attended this, it's not too late to register. You can even register after today's practice session and Lena will post the link or it's always on the home page of Parkinson Voice Project's website. Everybody with Parkinson's should attend this webinar. I suggest that our patients attend it at least once a year with their families and close friends. So go ahead and register if you haven't attended that before. It's always on the second Tuesday. <coughs> The second Tuesday of every month. Okay, today's topic that Lisa prepared for us, it is Sleep Awareness Month. Say that with me. Sleep Awareness Month. Is um, getting a good night's rest a challenge for you? It's a challenge for me. I know that. So that's what we're going to be talking about today during our reading and cognitive exercises. But first, let's go ahead and warm up our voice. Remember, the name of the program is called Speak Out, so project your voice forward. Here we go. May, me, my, mo, Think about projecting every syllable forward. Let's do it again. May, me, my, mo, mo. <clears throat> Use a lot of intent. Exaggerate. May, me, my, mo, mo. Use your best voice. May, me, my, mo, moo. Always up and forward. So think about over your computer and when you speak to people, think about over their heads. You're always lifting your voice and projecting it forward. Let's do one more. May, me, my, mo, moo. Good job. Let's all pick up our glasses or our mug with intent. And as you bring it to your mouth, swallow with intent. I notice I'm being very intentional because I've got 3,000 people watching me online every day and I can tell that I'm very intentional when I wrap my lips around this cup because I don't want to spill anything. So imagine 
that you are conducting this session. How would you do the exercises? How would you take your sip of water if 3,000 people were watching you? Hmm, that's a good way to do the exercises. Let's move on to speak out exercise number two, the ahs. Deliberately open your mouth and project the ah forward. Here we go. Uh, good job. Let's do it again. Uh, keep the sound consistent. Let's do it again. Uh, are you keeping your mouth open? Just like I don't want us to think about the breathing, I just want you to speak out. I really don't want you to have to think about the mouth too much, but sometimes the mouth is not getting open. It might feel like you're opening it, but you're not. So make sure this time deliberately open it wide. Here we go. Uh... Again, deliberately open your mouth wide. job. Take a sip of water and I want to show you this mirror and maybe Lena can post the link. I got this many years ago on, um, on Amazon. It's just a little tabletop mirror and there are different colors. You don't have to get pink, but it wouldn't be a bad idea in front of your computer, okay, to go ahead and have that mirror sitting there. Again, I don't like to distract. I want our focus to be on speaking out. But sometimes we need a little bit of help to realize how much we're not opening our mouth. These are the muscles you use to articulate with, to chew your food with, to help you control your saliva and not have drooling. So we've got to get that mouth open. In therapy, what I do so that the person is not really concentrating on the mouth, I will model it. So I will do, and usually the patient will open their mouth. But if that's not enough, maybe a mirror would help you. So you can go on Amazon. When I bought that, it was like $9. It may have even been $7.99, but that might be helpful to you. All right, let's move on to speak out exercise number three, the glide. Project an awe forward and slowly glide up. Try to get as many little notes in there as you can. Here we go. Uh, stop. Uh, <clears throat> that did not sound too good at the end. I needed to speak out more. Let's do it, do it again. sip of water. Go ahead and take one if you need it. <sighs> okay, let's do it again with intent. We 
are strengthening the vocal folds and making them more flexible as you go up and down in pitch. You're stretching the vocal folds in different ways. And that is important <clears throat> for you to have good uh, expression in your voice. Do you find that your voice is monotone? You don't have much expression? Well, if that is the case with you, then you might really find this exercise challenging, but that's why it's very important for you. Try to get as many little notes in there as you can. Use intent. Let's do it again. Uh, stop. Close your mouth. Uh, nice and controlled. Okay, there's a lot going on here, not just strengthening the muscles. We're using intent. We're controlling our voices. Let's do one more. Uh, job. We're done with the glides. Let's go ahead and take a sip of water. Please, if you have not attended our Learn About Parkinson's webinar, it's happening after this session. It is a Zoom webinar. Uh, don't worry, nobody can see you. You'll only be able to see me lecturing, but it won't be too late to register after this session. <laughs> The next, speak out exercise, the counting. So this exercise re-coordinates the breathing pattern. So you'll be coordinating the breathing with the vocal folds and now the articulators and making sure everything works the way it's supposed to. And you know that everything is working right when the sound comes out clear and that you can control the numbers. It's not rushing. You are using intent. You're forcing your voice to do what you want it to do. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. When I work with people with Parkinson's, often they can do the first two lines uh, pretty good. But then when they get to the third one, sometimes it'll go nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So they have to really refocus and just concentrate on every word. So even though you're, even though you're connecting the, the numbers, you're still thinking of them as individual numbers. And that's what you do when you're talking. You're kind of connecting. Like right now, as I'm talking to you, I'm connecting my words. I'm not talking like this. So we're constantly connecting them and shifting our pitch and our vocal folds are, are moving, but I'm thinking about saying every word with intent, even though I am connecting my words. Does that make sense? Let's practice with the counting. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Let's go backwards. 
16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, All right, let's go ahead and take a sip of water. A question came in yesterday, and I'm going to answer it and show you a video. So the question is, why does it appear to be that men are more successful at speech therapy than women? We seem to see more men in success videos. Oh, well, that, that's not true. Next time we have a guest, I'm going to make sure we have a woman. <laughs> but I'm going to show you. Let me take you to our website. I have a couple different things to show you, actually. So this is the homepage of our website. You'll know that we recently redid our website. So you'll know you're on the right website. The old one shouldn't be coming up. But if you need to refresh your browser, up at the top right here, it says Speak Out Grant Program. So that's, that's how you know you're on the new website and you don't need to refresh. Now, if I go to up here at the top where it says our program, the last tab is testimonials. I'm going to click on that. Look, women. <laughs> there are some women here. In fact, there's four women right there at the top and then a couple men here. So I'm going to show you Jackie's video. But before I show it, I want you to pay attention to a few things. You're going to see Jackie before and after Speak Out. She had 12 individual therapy sessions. Listen to the quality of her voice. You know how sometimes I'm, I'm telling you, does your voice sound gravelly? Well, hers is a great example of what can happen. And then you will notice when she's speaking with intent, the graveliness goes away. You will also notice inconsistency of her voice. It'll, it'll come out and it's too loud and then it trails off at the end. So when I talk about controlling our speech, that's what I mean. So you'll really be able to hear that on hers. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch Jackie's video. I'm going to put this on full screen and then we'll do some exercises afterwards. Jacqueline Ann Sprower. And we, Jacqueline Ann Sprower. I can lose my voice, yeah. Okay. What else have you noticed? As far as voice is concerned? Yes. Nothing really, unless my husband can remember something I can't. Okay. Has anyone said anything to you about your voice? Well, sometimes my daughter will say, clear your throat, or my husband will say, clear your throat. When the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air, they act like a prism and form a rainbow. The, ra the rainbow is a division of white light into many beautiful colors. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I've noticed that I speak with clarity and I articulate better, and I speak with intent. It's a wonderful video, and you can see what a big difference Speak Out makes if you'll go through the treatment. So make sure that you are working, that you're not just doing these home practice videos. You are working one-on-one -on -one with the Speak Out provider and using these videos. I want to show you one other thing on our website since we're talking about sleep. So let me go back to our website. I'll go back to the home page, okay? And up at the top it says education and training. And the second item in the drop down is our Parkinson's lecture series. Are you familiar with this? I'm going to click on that. 
we have 20 over 20 professional videos where we brought speakers in to our education center and there is a particular one here by dr el fecky on sleep and so if you click on that it's a video and i want you to know that the parkinson's lecture series is really neat it's actual videos it is not just powerpoints where you only hear the person let me just i'll just click on this just to show you sleep, continuous sleep it is it is in include things like sleep shift uh, abnormalities so advanced sleep shift like those are the people that want to go to bed at four or five in the afternoon and then wake up at one or two in the morning and they've done their sleep and then they start calling their friends and their families hey what are you guys up to and <laughs> okay so there there are so many lectures there i hope if you haven't looked at that um you will and you know maybe every weekend with your family you could pick one of those lectures to watch. All right, time to go on with the rest of our speak out exercises. We're now moving on to reading. So we did the counting. And the reason we do counting first is it's just easier. You don't have to think about it too much. Well, now we're going to coordinate the breathing with the vocal folds and the articulators, but we're going to be using other words. So, and if you're new to this, um, broadcast. I always look to the side because I have two screens. Okay, here we go. It is Sleep Awareness Month. Everybody say that again with intent. <clears throat> sleep Awareness Month. Again, Sleep Awareness Month. That's right. Let's read the sentence together and stretch out the highlighted word. Here we go. March is Sleep Awareness Month. Again, March is Sleep Awareness Month. Yeah, can you control it and stretch out the highlighted words? Here we go. The Sleep Foundation has sleep tips. Again, the Sleep Foundation has sleep tips tips. Have you logged on to the Sleep Foundation? That might be a good idea. Next, lower the lights and disconnect from devices. Again, lower the lights and disconnect from devices. Next, set a fixed wake-up time. Again, Set a fixed wake-up time. Next, use a high-performance mattress and pillow. How old is your mattress? Say that with intent. Answer that question. Some of us need to go get another mattress. Let's, let's, uh, let's read the sentence again. Use a high-performance mattress and pillow. Now, for the cognitive exercise, what are some habits that promote good sleep? Name as many as you can think of. Let's read these suggestions from Lisa with intent. A dark room, comfortable temperature, good mattress and pillow, consistent bedtime. Next, habits that do not promote good sleep. We know what those are, right? And we do it anyway. Let's go ahead, name as many as you can think of. Are you using your best voice? Read these in your best voice. Drinking caffeine late in the day. Sleeping with lights or TV on. Using devices before bedtime. Inconsistent bedtime wake up time. Let's do one more. Items you need in the bedroom for good sleep.
Let's read these with intent. Pillows, blankets if cold, alarm clock, blinds or curtains to block light, peace and quiet. Don't be paying bills in the bedroom. <laughs> All right, take a sip of water. I want to make a little suggestion for you. My sleep pattern had gotten off. Oh, it was just so bad. I was waking up every day at one or two in the morning. And a couple weekends ago, I just needed to reset. And maybe this will be an, an idea for some of you. Maybe you don't travel too much anymore. I know some of you travel a lot, but maybe that's a little bit more difficult. What I did, I actually checked into a hotel for a couple days, went on a mini staycation. So I just went uh, to Frisco, checked into the Westin for a couple days just to reset and get away. Remember, I live across the street from Parkinson Voice Project. And, you know, sometimes I work from home and I just needed to get away. And sure enough, after just doing that for two nights, I came back and my sleep schedule was back on track. Daylight Savings helped me with that, too. Um, and, um, you know, sometimes we just need to do that. So it's an idea. If you're not planning a vacation, why don't you plan a staycation? You won't spend as much money, but you can get away and not have to worry about the dishes or the house or things like that for a couple days. All right. Let's go ahead and do Dr. Boone's words with intent. Goo-la-ga-ga-ga. -ga -ga. Every syllable with intent. Gangla. Gangla. And the next. Kukla. Kukla. All right, take a sip of water. We're going to move on to the bonus reading. You know, when we think about staycation, think about it. My husband will go on a hunting trip for the weekend or go work on his bees for the weekend, and we don't think anything of it, right? He needs to get away, be in nature. Well, uh, I'm not so much the hunting and uh, beehive person, so for me getting away for a couple days, uh, it's, it's very good. I, I highly recommend it. Time for the bonus reading. All right, March is Sleep Awareness Month. Let's read this with intent. The bonus reading is a little bit more challenging than the others. Remember, we're gliding from one word to the next. We're using intent, forcing ourselves to think about it by exaggerating the highlighted words. If you get behind when we are reading, do not worry about it. Just catch up on the next highlighted word. Here we go with intent. Few things impact mental health more than sleep. Most of us already know that not getting enough sleep makes almost every problem worse or at the least diminishes our ability to handle stressors. Maybe you also know that research reveals lack of sleep on a regular basis may have long-term health consequences, including serious chronic medical conditions such as diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease. In fact, less than six hours of sleep can have serious health consequences. Sleep is an essential component of wellness, and there are many factors that influence sleep and sleep patterns. Start with, and there are. Ready? And there are many factors that influence sleep and sleep patterns. Wow. <laughs> 
maybe this could be one of your New Year's resolutions if you uh, if you didn't make it and if it's a problem for you, think about it. Thank you for joining me today. I will be back tomorrow. Speak, swallow, walk, talk, do it, write, do everything with intent. And I'll see you in 15 minutes at the Learn About Parkinson's webinar. Thank you.